Alright, hello, hello, hello. I know some of you guys were asking for a video on the uh, legendary hover tank. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I figured I'd put one together. I made a couple modifications. Actually, a little bit easier. Now, I'd be using Braden. Alright, right there. Um, I did use him to take out the, the middle hunter. Um, you could actually, if you wanted to, if you wanted to waste a devout. Okay, if you don't have Braden, you can actually use an escort too, but they uh, the devouts are going to take a little bit less time to repair. So you can just walk a devout right up. It's going to get hit by a couple of the uh, rail guns. I'll show you here in a second. But um, <clears throat> but it's that's an easy repair. You know, guys, what are they, nine minutes, nine and a half minutes, something like that. So it would be up to you. And then the rest here is just, I got I got ten controllers. Um, I know, I, I think I did one before. I showed you something a little different. But I found out that the controllers actually outrange these guys. So I was actually coming in, hitting these two, and then this guy started, the hover tank started coming at me, and then I had to deal with trying to not get hit by that. Well, <clears throat> they outrange the hover tanks. The controllers do so. All right, here's the, the hunter in the center that you'll need to get, okay? See how it has the rail guns here, but I'll get to that when we get to that. All right, so let's take your controllers. And we'll run them up here, and the first thing you want to do, like I said, they outrange. Now they do, the hover tanks do shoot at the controller drone, so that's why I got 10, and it uh, the 10 seem to work pretty good, so. Let's see how he's shooting at them, but that's fine, it hits them, there we go. And then we go ahead and take out our, uh, our floating flax here. Now when we go after, you only need to take out these two missile silos and these two missile silos over here. <clears throat> um, the, the, this one won't shoot at air. But once you shoot at this one, this, this guy right here, this uh, plane, shock plane, <coughs> is going to come after you. So what we do is we'll go ahead and try to split it up. So... You shoot at one. Once it starts firing, click on the other one, so half and half. And start backing up. Now, you're going to have to let the controllers recharge. And as he's coming at you, then okay, now go ahead and click on them. They'll fire and start running away. Usually he'll turn around, but they're still the drones will follow. And that helps if you use Brayden, because it clears those two out, so they won't fire at him when you come in to take the hunter out. And then we just come around to the other side, do the exact same thing. So all controllers, like I said, they outrange, so they'll fire at the hover tank. And there he goes. And then we take out these, the flex, the floating flex. And it's a, it, you gotta kind of watch a little bit to do a click, quick click, excuse me, to split them up. <clears throat> so we click, and as soon as they start firing, click on the other one, and it splits them up. And we back up for this shock. Whoops, sorry. They've recharged. Go ahead and click on them and move out of the way so you don't get shocked. And there you go. That takes care of all your anti-air other than the hunter. So we go ahead and retreat our controllers, and this is where I'll bring in Braden. I'll bring Braden straight in. <clears throat> click on the hunter and get ready to retreat him yeah he's gonna take some damage but that's all right and there he goes that's gone we are all done now we come in with aces <clears throat> there's a little trick to this one too because in these bunkers they have those uh those uh infantry shock guys whatever they're called there and they're they're anti-air so they shoot the high air so what i try to do is i try to get all the bombs to land at the same time and it will take out the bunker and the guy so just click once let them come in drop all their bombs and click on the next one see how it hits it and it takes them all out boom <clears throat> so just a, a little hint there so you don't have to worry about getting hit by the guys what the heck oh geez I hate when I do that selected one I was over here and I clicked on the one instead of all of them Easy fix, though. <clears throat> Either try to double click on one of them. Of course, they, the way they move around, it's just easier to come over here and select them over here. <clears throat> but yeah, your aces will even take the those choppers down. There you go. 
clears out the base really well. And then what I'll do is I'll bring my Braden in to help on this. Don't have to. You could actually bring in your controllers if you wanted to. They would take that uh, fusion tower out a little bit quicker. But <clears throat> And there you have it there. So, like I said, you'll have to hit five. Uh, the first two will give you actually two units. And then uh, the three after that will give you three tokens. And if you hit them after that, all you got to do is get five million thorium. So if you want 5 million thorium, then you can go out and hit threes all day long for no repair. <laughs> there you go. All right. So like I said, the first one is uh, you're going to get two of the uh, <clears throat> the units, first two, and then the three after. This is my first one this round for uh, tokens. So tokens and thorium. So I get to hit two more. And <clears throat> look at that. No repair whatsoever. Yeah, you will have repair. He gets a cut, hit a couple times by that hunter, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. So hopefully that helped for you guys. Uh, good luck.